How's it going everybody? My name is Dalton. Welcome back to another episode of Garage 99. Today, pulling the seat out because uh, got some new seat belts. In this box, I have some beautiful sparkle harnesses. Shout out to Facebook Marketplace. Uh, they're six point, they are the Hans compatible ones. So they go from a three inch down to a two inch up on the shoulder belts. Pretty stoked about these. They are gonna be really nice. Look at that. Very excited. So let's get this seat out and put all the eye bolts in and then figure out what we're gonna do from there. So as you can see here, this bracket is actually made for uh, harnesses for a six point. We're gonna go through this bag here, and organize all these. Shoulder belt, those are the two for the bottom. Another shoulder belt and two lap belts. Uh, I would imagine these are the plates that probably go underneath here. Yeah, okay. So it came with two plates. I'm not even sure if these are the right hardware or not, but I'm gonna go with it and say they are. Imagine you probably want to position them like that if these are gonna hook in and go in through like that. So yeah, that should do. I just hope they don't stick up too far. Maybe if they stick into the seat, that would kind of be a pain in the butt. Let me go take a look at the seat and figure out how that's gonna work. Now I don't know if these are gonna fit through the seat. I'm gonna try and fit this now through the seat, see if it works. All right, so I'm gonna have to feed these in through the seat and then mount the seat to this. Okay, I know I'm gonna regret doing this, but it needs to be done. Because I can't pull the roll cage in because it's already in here. I also need something sharper that's not going to do it. I have something. There we go. Razor blade. Pull the slack out. All right. No more seatbelt. At least for the driver's side, at least. So, good. Get that pulled out. All right, and same thing with this. And the Miata, you want to use the, actually, I think most cars, you want to use the receiver for where the seatbelt goes into, uh, basically where it goes down into the side of the car. That is going to be your spot to put the eye bolts in. If your harness is used eye bolts, if not, it's not a big deal. That's about good for that one. We gotta do that one still. Uh, and then it should be good. Okay, I think that'll be good. I'll put the seat back in here and then uh, see if all this stuff works with the seat. Okay, so those were, I would say, the more difficult belts to do. This one's actually really easy. Basically what you wanna do, you wanna feed it through the seat up toward the roll bar where you're gonna be mounting it. And then when you do mount them, you wanna make sure you mount both of them the same length with the same draw so that way they're adjusted the same way. So like this one's gonna have a little bit of a different reach. I'm gonna have to probably put them like that on the back of this bar. Ooh, that's gonna look so good. All right, no, but for real. All right, so there are diagrams online. Basically, you have to go up and through the buckle, underneath the bar, and then up and through the buckle again. That will be more than enough to hold it in. So now I'm gonna see if the uh, thing actually fits me. Oh, 
Oh man, it's been a while since I had to put these on. Uh, this is a six point now, so this is a little different. I do remember, you gotta turn it sideways, put one in, and then close it, and then you can put the rest of them in. Something about the cam lock system, I don't really know what it is. All right, it's super loose, so. Okay, I still have both of the bottom harnesses. I don't know if I can tighten them from here. Oh, I guess I can. Nope. All right, well those are gonna be probably as tight as they can go anyways. Okay, that's pretty much it. This thing's, this, this car is ready to go. The interior's done. Got the harnesses, the seat, the seat mount, the weighted shift knob. Uh, might still do a new shift boot because that might leak, cause fumes and heat to come up in the cabin. Um, even with the top up. Yeah, got the new quick release. Can't really reach you guys, so. Harnesses are doing their job, but yeah, this, uh, they're pretty good looking setup. I'm excited about that. So, there it is. That's gonna conclude today's video. Might be a little while till you, get, you guys get another video, I'm not sure. Kind of building a bar along the way of building this car, so I'm trying to put funds where, I'm, I'm trying to disperse the funds. This interior is done for this car. Now it's time to do a couple of cosmetics here and there. Maybe uh, some tow hooks. Just stuff to get it more appropriate for as, as a track car, I guess. And I wanna get uh, a couple GoPro mounts for you guys to get some solid footage when we're on the track. First track day is either gonna be, probably gonna be at Waterford Hills in a couple months, maybe like two or three months. On uh, warmer day, I'd like to get this thing out, drive a little bit, kind of work some bugs out of it. I'd like to do a valve cover gasket, maybe paint the valve cover, clean it up. Um, I'll go through the process with you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you can. Peace out, keep turning those gears.